and thank you for joining Jeff and Jenny's Classic Restorations, brought to you in association with Vintage Moped World. Well, today it's uh, gone back to winter, I think. Uh, it's a bit miserable, cold and windy. So, uh, so I haven't been able to get on until now because I've just been waiting for some parts to come. And uh, today the main thing is to concentrate on the fuel tank. It did clean out fairly well with the vinegar. Unfortunately, um, I ended up with a little pool of water underneath the fuel tank for a few days and I thought well where's that coming from it's there's nowhere I thought it was coming out of the tap or something but uh, it turned out that um, we've got some little pinholes in there some are bigger than others so uh, that's the main task today is to uh, get these pinholes out and try and braze them but uh, it's the first time I've ever done that so all, anything can go wrong which it probably will so let's just see how we get on Well, so excuse the wind out here, it's a miserable day, so I'm just going to get on in the morning and just do a little bit. I have been doing a few things. The suspension arms, legs, um, have been sanded right back to metal and have been uh, acid etched primed and there's now got some normal primer on. My plan is to try and get the front half done. The, uh, the frame is actually still away, you reckon about a couple of weeks, um, because when that comes back, I want to try and get that into paint pretty quick. So to save me, keep mixing up paint every time, every time I do something I'm going to try and spray a lot of the things all in one go so that was the plan and also was to do the petrol tank at the same time but as you can see I don't know if you can see on here we had some uh, further developments as you can see here by the time I've sanded that back we've got some also a bit bigger than pinholes um, so this I've not uh, ever done this before so I'm going to try and attempt to uh, to solder that and braze it. So uh, let's see how we get on. Now the funny thing about these holes is the fact that it's actually rotted from the outside. This is where that horrible straw type protection stuff was on the uh, where it bolts on. Um, and so obviously the water has sat on that and, uh, and has just rotted it from the outside. Now I don't know if this is going to work. I've got these soldering sticks. I thought they were going to be a bit thicker than that. But the plan is, and I say I'm no expert on this. This is probably a how not to do it. But the plan is, I'm going to see if I can um, solder some of these holes up as it is and keep it smooth. And then maybe try and get this little bit of, well, I've got different bits of this uh, copper. And, uh, and then maybe if that's smooth enough, we can put that over the top. Because this won't be seen as we underneath. And see if we can then put an extra um, soldering world around there to give it that extra protection but that's just uh, what I hope to do whether it actually happens we'll see okay so here goes nothing uh, I've got some flux on there now so the first thing I'm going to try and do is heat up heat the metal up first it has all been cleaned with uh, acetone Still nothing yet. There we go, it's starting to melt. Well, there we go. After a lot of mucking about, it's uh, it's not 
particularly uh, neat, but I did manage to get some molten uh, solder and let it run rather than dabbing it, but there were still other little bits I could see holes. I can't see any holes now looking through the, uh, through the tank, so I'm going to fill this up with uh, water for the time being, and uh, if it leaks, well, well, I probably will take this off again and I'll probably go and get it professionally um, done. It's probably going to be cheaper to have that done than actually try and find another tank from Italy, which uh, it's the postage that really kills it. So I'm going to fill that with water and leave it a day, see how we get on. Well, finally back with you. Uh, the tank uh, was absolutely useless, uh, just poured out water everywhere. So what I've done, I've actually sent that away now and uh, not far from where the chaps uh, media blast in the frame so uh, <coughs> excuse me so I can't really get on and do much that side of things for now but what I'm trying to do is get uh, a lot of the things prepared um, for when the once we painted the frame we can get all the suspension back on so I'm trying to concentrate on the front side of things so this is the front brake um, unit um, so this will need to be painted gold so uh, to match the wheel but uh, so I'm going to clean up all this brake area as I mentioned in a previous video this these uh, pads are practically practically new so we'll get these out and I'll get all this all clean behind um, and then eventually we can get that uh, powder coated clean and powder coated so let's just uh, try and get these out usually you have to open this up this cam full and then that should help that slide out So they're pretty good condition. So I need to get all this cleaned up and uh, prepared, and I can uh, I can powder coat that then. Okay, so that's had a nice clean up. I've uh, given it a bit of acetone as well to make sure that's all clean. This is just a temporary uh, bolt in there for now, just to save that thread. Um, you don't need to see me. I'm going to use this gold again. I haven't got any new gold, so I'm going to do my best with this. Uh, lumpy gold that I've got and uh, so just do those and uh, let that uh, cook for a bit and I'll come back to you but there we go that's come out quite nicely I'll just put this uh, cam thing back in again that's just been done so we'll let that uh, cool down properly overnight just done a couple of other things this is the uh, I've just powder coated those with uh, cr uh, chrome uh, powder coated chrome and that's for the um, headlight bracket so uh, so they're done i'm just going to say i'm trying to build up all the front side of things first just little bits and pieces uh, and then i'll leave this for today and then tomorrow i'll come back um sort this axle out um i have cleaned up the the old rusty bearing race which uh, is all shiny in there now and, uh, and a couple of sets of ball bearings so uh Hopefully tomorrow we can uh, clean this axle up, get the brakes back in and uh, get the axles back onto the wheel um, when you finally get the front bit done. So I'll leave it for today and uh, come back to you tomorrow. Well, finally back, had a little bit of time again last night. Uh, the wife went out, so it gave me a bit more time to get on and do some things. I've got the uh, brakes back on now and uh, that's all been cleaned up. And as you can see, that's working perfectly. Um, that's all back together again. Just one little disappointment that uh, doing this bolt up has cracked some of the, the the gold. So that's not too much of a job. I probably will take that off later on and I'll just recoat that again. So the plan today is to get this uh, axle in. Um, this is a bit unusual. I've never done one of these before. Normally you just buy the, the bearings and they just tap them in. But with this one, it's got the race you just tap this back into the wheel um, and we've got to get the bearings in there and then that should slide through um, and this collar bit here will hold them in hopefully um, I'm not too sure whether I need to put the put them in there that side as well um, but uh, let's uh, start by getting some grease in here first and see if the, the bearings do stay in so this is just some 
uh, molly grease. So I'm just going to just put some around if it does come out. Oh, there we go. Just put some around the around the edge. Of this race here. There we go. That's it. Should, uh, should do it so we've got the uh the brand new ball bearings so i should use the tweezers but let's just see if this works i just put those in around there so let me just put these in uh won't bore you but obviously these go in into that molly grease right so all the bearings in there i've done the other side as well so hopefully by sliding this through, they're not going to all fall out the other side. But let's just carefully put this one through. Okay, that's that one. Bring that back around here. Now we can get the uh, little collar that holds that in. Okay, hopefully this is good enough to, for now to hold them in. All right, let me just tighten that one up and uh, just have to put the final few bits in. Okay, so that's... Um, right, how are we doing with this? It was all right a minute ago. Or maybe I've tightened it up too much. There we go. That's it. Much better than it was before. That is smooth compared to before. So... Um, just need to just adjust it a little bit till we get it completely smooth. Just a bit too much again. There we go. Right now we need the spacer on there, and uh, or do we need a lock nut? Bear with me. I have to come back. It is a spacer first, then this lock nut. Okay. Okay, so this is just the wheel locking nuts to go on the frame when that comes back. And uh, so, uh, yeah, that's uh, nice new bearings in there. And uh, we just readjust all that once that's uh, back on the bike. Okay, so uh, so that's that. So, uh, I'm, as I say, I'm trying to get the front section done, the suspension, the wheel. I just need to do the um, stand as well so it can stand on its own three feet i suppose with the front wheel and then we can start to move sort of towards the back so i'm still waiting for the uh the frame to come back the petrol tank's gone away to be completely restored well underneath and uh and then we can move on from there right so the last job of the day now i've uh sanded that back now uh, while i wheeled it this is the stand and uh it's actually quite good condition so um just a little bit of uh, gloss black powder coat on here. It's not ideal for powder coating at the moment. It's a bit windy, but uh, we shall endeavour to uh, try. So um, let me just get the uh, the mask on. Um, oops, the daisy. Get the mask on and we'll get started.
Okay, so let's get this in the oven and uh, see how it comes out. There we go, there's the uh, stand. That's come up very nice, uh, beautiful. And uh, just got the, I've, I've cleaned these bolts up and, and that, so uh, that's ready to go on. So as I say, that's part of the next stage. I'm gonna try and get the frame painted when it finally comes back and a few of the front part side of things. And this, it will stand on the stand and then obviously on the front wheel and then I'll concentrate on the back. So there may be, uh, I might miss a week. It's just waiting for this uh, frame to come back. The petrol tank's gone away, so um, uh, that might be some time as well, but we won't need that just yet anyway. Well, that's it for another episode. I hope you didn't find it too boring. It was just a little bit of tinkering about, bits here and bits there. I'm just trying to get the, as I say, the front half uh, together, the suspension arms, um, not the uh, handlebars yet, but uh, Get the bearings back into the steering unit get the wheel on at the front and uh, as you know i've just done the uh, stand so it can stand on its own three feet at a time so um a little bit of an update the little badge for the front which i wasn't going to pay 70 pound from italy for for a complete set of other ones i don't need um so my uh well, my wife's tie mother-in-law is tie obviously and uh, my sister-in-law has got the photo of what it should look like and the size and we're going to try and get that done in Thailand we've got some very professional people that can do all sorts there so hopefully we're going to get that done over there and also I had a subscriber asking about the ABS on the uh, CIB that we've done earlier with the wings and, and everything on it well uh, his uh, it's my son's friend had bought it and his dad is a mechanic was going to try and sort that out but uh, unfortunately, it doesn't really matter now because he's written it off. So all that work was a total waste of time. He forgot that we drive on the left in the UK. So uh, that's the end of the CIB either. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please subscribe if you do like the videos. Please hit the like button. And uh, please leave comments. I will reply to everybody. So until the next time, it might be a slight delay because we're waiting for the, um, the frame to come back. That will be the next stage. will be some painting. Uh, but I need the weather to be right. I need to be off on the right day. So it may miss a week, all being well. Um, we will be back next week, but uh, still waiting for this uh, frame to come back from the um, media blasters. And then the petrol tank has also gone off a couple of days ago to be professionally um, done underneath to seal those holes up. Anyway, until then, you take care. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.